Harriet, hello. Right, that took a long time, didn't it? We know you're interested in eyes. Back to me now. It's not like I've been waiting since the beginning of time, is it? My name is Sage Stinkhorn and today me and my assistant Harriet will be talking about the importance of fungi and the importance of the mycelial world in Harriet's artwork. The interest Harriet has taken in my species has been a little much, but we amuse her, we've got to. Before we get into her work, um, I just want to give an outline of Harriet's BA dissertation. Then we'll be talking about something great, which I'm going to be a part of, if I learn my lines. Her BA was, funnily enough, about us again. Her current work is following on from this dissertation, so I think we better start there then. Let's begin with the greatest story ever told. In the beginning there was nothing. Trees had to live in water to survive and the world was bleak. Then bam, the mycelial party arrives and nothing was ever the same again. We moved the trees out of the water, we connected the world through a network and we're underneath you at all times. There's metres of us. We're going around everywhere. We've been the size of car parks, we've been as tiny so you can't even see us. So yeah, we arrived. On a more important note, we could help you guys out a lot with climate change if you just listen to us for a minute. The issue is, we are silent, so we don't have the chance to say much. We don't have the chance to show you how important we are. For our time, we've been seen as many different things. We've been perceived as people we aren't, and sometimes people we are. In the medieval times, we were feared, we were scary, we thought they could get poisoned. Mm, you could. And then in the Victorian times, we were in little fairy tales, and fairies lived in us. In the 1960s, we were used for something completely different, if you get what I mean. And now in the modern day, we're getting a little bit more press of how we can help you, we can help the world, and how we can even advance medicine. In Harriet's dissertation, she explored the representation of mushrooms, I prefer the term fungi, in art, and specifically focused on mystical and scientific imagery through mind and contemporary artists, and how this symbolism can be used to aid the modern day. In this, she asked four of my fellow fungi to be part of a play. She asked a Mayan mushroom, a Victorian mushroom, a mushroom from the 1960s and a modern day mushroom. They were part of a play called You Are the Descendant of Fungi. Step inside the inaugural meeting of the mushrooms and dance to the beat of the world's oldest drum. What a pretentious name for a dissertation. This play explored how interesting we are, how exciting we are, how helpful we can be if paid attention to and just generally... What were like in art? The four large mushrooms were joined by a hundred smaller mushrooms that were listening to the council meeting. We fungi live to juxtapose the Anthropocene and are far too evolved to be spoken about in anthropomorphic terms. Mycelium is so closely linked to the human brain as we both have neurons and electrical transactions that control how we live. Over time, the Homo sapien has been seen as the top of the chain of hierarchy when discussing nature and animals and is seen as a controller of the way the world works. However, in my considered opinion, with mushrooms playing such a huge role in the ecosystem, we should at least be considered equals or in general just eradicate this hierarchical balance so we can all respect each other. We are actually better than you, but you have a few cool things and I think... There's no point in arguing. Now, I'll pass back to you, Harriet.
Why, hello, Jill. I'm back. This has been a really interesting project for me to be a part of and use my acting skills for. I was really confused when Harriet said that you might want to see the confused mess that is our dating world. But then again, I watch Naked Attraction and see there's never a second date on that either. And look at Love Island. Here's my contestant introduction to the show and the official ad for BBC One. Thank you. I'm Sage Stinkon and I'm looking to find my partner for life on to leave to stray and decay. My high is 48 years old, but I'm new for it, but it's just photos on. I'm ready to party. Yeah! Yeah!